Welcome to Bitboy Crypto. My name is Ben. Every day on this channel, I show you how to make money in cryptocurrency. If you like money and crypto, make sure to go ahead and hit the subscribe button. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about what Ethereum just did, a crazy power move, what this means, why this happened. That's really what I wanna focus on today, is why this happened. Because when you understand the why, you start to really understand the cryptocurrency markets and the way that they move, especially the altcoins. Now, I almost think there should be a special classification for Ethereum, uh, like under Bitcoin, that's not altcoin. Because if you didn't know, altcoin means literally anything that's not Bitcoin. But Ethereum has separated itself so much from the, car, uh, the coins below it at this point that it's almost like, you know, I don't even think people are going to consider Ethereum to be an altcoin necessarily. I think that word has not necessarily the best, you know, connotation. But the fact is, is Ethereum is ripping right now. It went over $1,300. What does this mean? Why did this happen? Okay, so what happens is that the price of Bitcoin will stall out and you start to get a little negative on the market. We went to 40,000, it was really exciting for Bitcoin and the price dropped down. Several times it will go above 40,000 and then below 40,000. And what occurs at that point is market instability, especially when the number it's tracking around is a huge psychological number, right? $40,000 is a big number for Bitcoin. It's twice its all-time high, which is why we've seen people taking profits there, okay? But what happens at that point is that the price of Bitcoin loses some volatility when it gets above that psychological number. For 12 hours, the price has not dipped below 40,000. It's chilled out, it's cooled off. And when that happens, it gives Ethereum room to run. That's consistently what we've seen. Ethereum, Bitcoin can basically push Ethereum and the altcoins up some, but to really get the altcoin seasons that we're talking about in these huge gigantic pumps, we need Bitcoin to chill out for just a little bit. And when it chills out in an area right above 40,000, so it's holding 40,000, but it's not pushing forward above, that gives the momentum down below to the other coins. Because if it starts moving up again, all of a sudden everybody wants to jump back in Bitcoin. If it starts moving down, people are freaking out and they don't wanna put more money in the altcoins until Bitcoin settles. So it's really important that you know Bitcoin gets to a place where that it can stay steady for everything else to pump. So what do you do with this information? Well, right now, you gotta look at the next number for Bitcoin to get to, uh, that's a big psychological number, which is $50,000, and kind of think about the same thing. Once Bitcoin starts to approach $50,000, we'll probably see a lot of selling action, a lot of ranging. Once we get above 41,000, Maybe we do this again at 45,000 for Bitcoin, maybe we don't. For Ethereum specifically, the longer the Bitcoin stalls out here, the better it is. So that's really what we're looking for right now. Will Bitcoin have a big correction or will it have another pump or will it stay solid? If Bitcoin stays between 40,000 and $42,000 over the next three days, I cannot see any way that Ethereum does not run up to its all-time high of $1,448. At that point, it is moon time for Ethereum, okay? So when Bitcoin passed its previous all-time high, it went parabolic. Now it's doubled its previous all-time high. Sorry about the dark video here, guys. I'm, I'm driving up on a little trip with the boys here, going to a football game, a little Tennessee Titans Ravens playoff game tomorrow. Just going to check out that scene. Uh, so it's getting a little dark here. But the point here is, how far do we have to go with Ethereum? Is this the top of the market? You guys know my prediction, if you watch my Ethereum prediction video like a lot of you guys did, my prediction is $27,000. That's crazy, but it's not that crazy. It's not as crazy as you think, why? Okay, from here, from $1,300, it's about a 20X, okay? A little bit over a 20X to get to 27,000. You start to say, wow, that's a big number. But then you start to look at, at 2020 and you see from the bottom of the Ethereum market to where we're at right now, 
we've already done about a 14X. In that short period of time, a lot of that, of course, not really bull momentum like we have now. So I definitely believe it can get there. The one thing I'm worried about when it comes to Bitcoin and Ethereum, which by the way, if you'd like to trade Bitcoin Ethereum on Bybit, you guys can check that out at bitboy.bybit, sorry, it's bybit.bitboy.live, excuse me. A uh, link would be down below in the description. We had to move our Bybit tutorial video. It's supposed to come out tonight. It's gonna be coming out tomorrow morning at 10.30 a.m. EST, so check that out. But my one concern is about this market is that we're not getting a correction. Like, yes, I would love the price of Bitcoin to go up forever. I would love the price of Ethereum to go up forever. And we just make a, you know an infinite amount of money and we buy infinite amount of yachts. Like, that would be great. But that's not how markets work. You have to have pullbacks to be able to consolidate, build support, and then push past the next range of numbers it needs to go up. We need to see a 20 to 25% Bitcoin correction in the next month, in my opinion. How, how hard can it bounce from that? It can bounce very, very, very hard. But if we do not get that correction at all, and we just keep going to 50, 60, 70K, I think that that could possibly stall out the bull run eventually. You wanna see that dip. And I do believe that it could be coming. Uh, I'm starting to think about $50,000 could be the place where we see the massive fall. 40,000, it's holding pretty good. If we get some kind of chaos or some kind of negative news, it could drop from there. But as of, as of right now, I'm not seeing anything really to indicate that the price is gonna drop that far uh, since it's got, gone above and it's kind of holding support at $40,000. Uh, so really, for Ethereum to get to where we want it to, for Bitcoin to get where we want it to, and then for that to flow down to all the altcoins, we really need to see some type of pullback. The one wild card here to think about, of course, is the pandemic and the stimulus money. It's already been said that Joe Biden is looking at a $3 trillion stimulus plan. It sounds great, uh, but the only issue with that is gonna be, it's going to destroy our economic system. It's gonna destroy the value of our money unless the value of your money is in Bitcoin and then it is certainly gonna hold. So, all right, guys. Drop a comment down below. Let me know what you guys think about Ethereum. Where do you think it's heading to? Uh, how? When is the pullback coming for Bitcoin? Make sure to drop all those comments down below. That's all I got. Be blessed. Big boy out.